Hello guys and welcome back to our today's podcast and I hope you all are doing great from your respective places and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button welcome again and again and again and today I want us to speak just something small to do with Prince William they are still trying to pressure Prince William into wearing a kilt in Scotland I don't understand why is it that he doesn't want to. Bearing in mind, it is a tra it was traditionally worn uh, by men as part of the Scottish Highland dress code. But let's get into it and see what Kaiser has written for us. I'll be reading you an article, and it goes ahead and says, "Weeks ago, the Daily Mail had a story about Prince William's refusal to wear." are killed while he is in Scotland. I ended up writing about it because it's legitimately a mystery. Why does William refuse to wear a kilt when all of his male family members seems to rejoice in kilt wearing? There was there was stock into comments about whether it will be cultural appropriate appropriation and how the Windsor actually do have Scottish accessory and all of that. I think William just doesn't like kilt and no one can force him to wear one. I mean, the man has no pizza, no style, no charisma. Even William knows that he doesn't have a charm of style to pull off a kilt well. Well, now King Charles Scottish Taylor is saying that he will be happy to make peg a special kilt this is so so funny like it is really really funny i remember the other day when uh, william visited scotland whereby he hosted an event and you know what there were no people it was just another embarrassing thing on the other side but trust me you people have not taken this over william not being able to wear a kilt in uh, scotland not that serious the UK press is not talking about this. They have not even dared to address or write it even in their papers. But trust me, you if it would have been the Duke of Sussex having done such a thing, at this particular moment, he will be the one trending from the first magazine to the last, from in the morning till in the evening, just because it is the Duke of Sussex. But when it comes to any other person, within the royal family members, they don't address such things. And that's one thing now, whereby we come and we're like, you know what, you people are just annoying. Is it because Harry got married to a biracial woman? Or what exactly are you people trying to insinuate that you've got things that you can address when it comes to the so-called of your leaders or the royal members that are ruling over you? And But when it gets to the Sussexes, you people just rubbish out, you people just write whatever you feel you want to for the sake of your own audience so as at the end of the day you would have tarnished somebody's name and having made money out of it that's a question that we rarely get an answer from kilt wearing does seem like one of the most harmless of all of the royal traditions it's not just a work costume adopted by royal men for certain Scottish functions either. Charles loved nothing more than wearing a kilt, privately and publicly. Apparently, Prince Philip was the same way. Is all of this talk part of some kind of public pressure campaign? We fail to understand. I think it might be. Charles is going to have to bribe William with the keys of a new house to get him to wear a kilt one time in Scotland. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he will. But one thing we fail to understand also, when it gets to things to do with the Prince William, no one addresses them. But trust me, you if it would have been anything to do with Prince Harry, it will be the topic of discussion at the moment. But one thing I know is whatever they do, whatever they say, people no longer care. Just the other day when Prince, uh, currently King Charles, 
hosted a second coronation service. Imagine people coming to your event protesting, carrying banners saying of how you know of my care. That one explains a lot and that people no longer care of how these people rule. People no longer care of what they do. Simply because they are so much into themselves forgetting that there are people out here. They are so much focused on them, not willing to assist people within the society. Just look, for example, we speaking at our beloved or the one who has always been there and people truly dearly love him, speaking about the Duke of Sussex. This is one man who's always there to assist people within the society. He has kept his mother's legacy going, starting charities, offering services to humanity, always considering humanity before making a decision. That's one amongst the best things. And I've always said this and I'll keep on repeating is, you know what, Harry and Meghan are the future king and queens that we would love to be led with. They are such an amazing people that we truly feel like those are the ones who can make this whole system work. Imagine at this particular time, they're not being funded by any royal taxpayer money, but they've been able to live their best life, still working day in, day out to be able to stabilize or make themselves even way more financially stable. Not being able to be funded by any royal taxpayer funding, but trust me, you have always said Harry and Meghan have got less power within them, but the less power they have is the same exact power they use to make this world a better place. They don't rely in any other royal taxpayer funding as the so-called ones who have been funded and still doing nothing to assist the community, doing nothing to assist humanity out here. At this particular time, whatever Harry does or Meghan does, it's always going to be on the front pages of the UK press. But when it comes to William or Charles or Kate or Camilla, no one addresses anything to do with that. And that's really, really weird, I can say. What do you think about this? But the fact that he's not able to wear the kilt, it's none of any other person's business out here. This whole flaw of story is really, really funny. And when you go through some comments, you'll just be laughing all by yourself but anyway we are we have no reason or we don't have any access or that authority to say what he is supposed to do and what he is not supposed to do it's just that our issue comes in when when it gets to them their matters no one addresses it but when it comes to the duke and duchess of sussex matters the whole flow of the tablets will be discussing about it that's our main concern of this whole thing i don't know what you think about this but kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below and that was our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast bye